Who pays the closing costs? Hi, I'm Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and there's a lot of compu confusion surrounding closing costs. And um, I'm about to break it down because closing costs are actually just an, a kind of a global term for fees that buyers and sellers can accrue during a transaction. And what's interesting though, it depends on who you are. If you're the buyer, you have a set of closing costs. And if you're the seller, you have a set of closing costs. And we put it up on the board to make it really, really clear. So the seller, when you list your home on the open market with a real estate agent, you pay a commission. And you pay a total commission that goes towards the listing office that lists the home, markets the home, um, attracts buyers for the home. And then you have part of that commission goes to the buyer's agent. And that buyer's agent represents the buyer. They bring it they bring the buyer to your home, they show the home, they write a contract, and they help represent them. So you actually help pay for the other broker on the other side. And we actually shot a video on that, so check that one out about the commissions and who gets what. Now, the seller also pays excise tax. Excise tax goes to the state and the county. This happens, it's like a, also known as maybe a transfer tax in some other states, so the seller pays that. That's part of their closing costs. The seller also pays for title insurance. The title insurance uh, company will issue a policy for the property, and that is they pay the, the seller pays the title insurance for the buyer. So they're actually purchasing this title policy for the buyer. And then the seller pays half of escrow. Okay, now here, bear with me. The buyer's closing costs, they pay half of escrow, and then they pay for their loan fees. They pay for the loan fees. That's if they're getting a loan. So what are the loan fees? They need. It's different for every bank, every lender, uh, whether you're getting private money or, or FHA money or VA money. So that, that changes, okay? So the buyer does not pay a commission unless they agreed to pay a commission to their buyer broker. The commissions are paid by the seller. And we shot that video because buyers need to realize that they normally, at least in our marketplace, the buyer isn't paying any commissions. They're just paying lease fees. Now here's the other cool thing. Buyers can ask, this is where it gets confusing. Buyers can ask the seller, and they often do, buyers can ask the seller to pay their loan fees. It's called, like a, they can pay their closing costs. And so what happens is buyers will say, will you pay my closing costs? And then the seller's wondering, well, who's paying my closing costs? Can I ask the buyer to pay my closing costs? And it gets really confusing because everyone has different fees. We just call them all closing costs. So I hope this helped you guys out because there's some tips here and I wanna reiterate these tips. The tips are the buyer normally isn't paying any commissions, the seller's paying commissions. So buyers out there, find your own agent, find your own broker to represent you. It's a massive service that's already been paid on your behalf. So you don't have to do it on your own. And here's the cool thing is, um, you can get the very best broker for the same price as the very v worst broker on the buy side, right? You could hire someone that you know, but is that person you know the very best broker out there? So you can get the very best broker. And we have buyer specialists at our office that are trained specifically to help buyers. The second thing is buyers can ask the seller to pay loan costs. Now, when you ask the seller to pay loan costs, they're gonna factor it into the overall price. So if they're selling their home for 300,000 and you want them to pay $8,000 in loan costs, they're gonna see your offer as not 300, but as 292. The benefit though is you, it, you will be required to come up with less money to close on the house. Um, sellers out there, the commissions are negotiable, excise tax, you can't really negotiate, title insurance and half of escrow. They're, they're, di they're pretty close depending on where you go, but there's a number of different companies and they have different rate sheets on that. So if you have any questions on what your closing costs would be like if you decided to sell your home or what your closing costs would look like if you're looking to buy a home and how we can minimize your cash out of pocket for your down payment and your loan costs, reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have.